Okay, so we're going to start off a little messy today. He's a um, bit of a character, and I am starting to become a bit fond of him. He's a little bit of a fighter as well. I call him messy because he makes um, a lot of mess, but we spelled it a little bit different. You can see that he's he's just waiting for me. He's always here. He's, he's definitely feeling better now, so he's kind of always curious to see what's going on. And it's a very beautiful little bird, this one. He's just got that real interesting character. He's a little bit camera shy, but I think he wants the food today. I just cleaned up his mess from this morning. He's just real messy. Very picky at what you want. But uh, you know, I'm pretty happy that he, you know, to the point where he was, he was not in a very good condition. And we've, I've got him to this point, so I'm hoping we can get him all the way through, and then hopefully soon we can get him up flying again, because that would be uh, really good to see. It's definitely something that I want to try and do. And he's definitely looking that way. I just want to hopefully wait for that last little bit of puffiness to go down in the back there. It's all right. He's just a little bit camera shy. So um, we'll see how he goes, but at this point, looking quite good. Uh, get a little bit more food there. He's pretty chilled. He hasn't tried to fly out of there yet, but we'll put those double locks on there. Um, and we're going to have a look who's in here, because it's not the same pair that was in here yesterday. So, yeah, who do we have in here? So what I've done... So shock paired up with that hen quite quickly. So I've moved him across to the main loft into one of the free boxes. And then what they're going to do over there. Are you right there? Just calm down a bit. You're just getting jealous. I put food in there for you, okay? Go back to it. Um, so yeah, we'll have a look at shock shortly. But they've paired up really well. And um, they were getting on quite fine this morning. So what I've done is moved over Leo into here. And our last final attempt for the year is to get this street fighter hen paired up with him both beautiful pigeons like she's really nice little hen this one she's got quite a nice little book like, she looks so strong look at her and i really want to get her paired up to big leo over here wasn't really my first preference but he was sort of just sitting idle over in the other loft and i thought you know what that's um you know he was in there and he was really trying if you watch the videos He's been trying pretty hard with his hen, so I thought uh, we'll bring him across into this little free box we've got. And we will um, just try and get him paired up in here where it's a bit more private because it seems to be working wonders at the moment, this little box. I'm pretty impressed with it. So, um, yeah, we'll see how we go. What's your problem? Apparently you're feeling a bit better and you're getting too cheeky. But I've had some problems with that hen. I haven't been able to get it down on eggs. We had it for a couple of months paired up in a box and nothing happened. So hopefully now we'll be able to do it at least one round. I just want to see if this hen breeds. So next season that I'm confident to put her in a box and she's going to pump out some babies for us. So we'll have a quick little look in here before we go to the other loft. Um, we will get the birds out for a fly today because um, it is quite nice. Nice little breeze there too and the temperature not too bad. So at this point in time, I think we have around about 11 pairs on eggs and I think one of those pairs is on babies so that's around about 22 young birds just there we've got another three or so pairs like this one and this one is still we've got to lay some eggs so um, I feel like this these are all out these are going to come out together this is an ideal situation for me or near ideal because um, both all these eggs here are all going to hatch really close together and all the babies should wean like really close together too. So we'll just have this bunch of like 20 young birds at once. And that's for me ideal. That's so much easier than doing dribs and drabs. Um, going forward, we're gonna try and do this, especially if we're gonna do one loft stuff. But all the hens doing pretty well. I've got eggs everywhere. Still waiting for this little hen. She can't be too far off it because she is hanging around. I think her last round, she was kind of a Bit of a dawdler. She was a little bit slow with laying eggs. Hopefully. Hopefully she does. There's just a little bit of commotion going on over here. What? The patch is up to no good. Just trying to carry on in that box. Um, we'll just check in these little guys. I'm, I'm saying, I'm just these ones are going to be pretty close to getting some rings on them, I'd say. Not too far. I would say in a a well, couple of days we'll start looking at getting rings on them it's very interesting though because we 
I'm still feeling like we may get some kind of nice checkery out of it. We've got some light checkeries, but um, none of those real dark checkers that I'm hoping for, which, you know, it's not generally possible out of the pairing that we've got. We really need that dark checker as a dominant pattern to pump some of those out. So, yeah, we'll get there. Uh, but I do have a dark checker pigeon coming, so... Um, not for the fact that it is dark checker, but because of the breeding. But we'll see that um, sometime in the new year. I've seen a few little photos of it and it looks pretty good. Come here, Mr. Kruger. Let me just get that back in the corner there. Come on. What are you doing? Put your wings down. Your baby's getting a bit big for you, are they? Good job. We'll keep them pumping out. So hopefully that little hen lays. These ones, I'm hoping that hen lays. She's been a bit slow. And what else have I done today? I've moved out the nest bowl. We've weaned out the two babies that are in this one as well. Um, but I was hoping to unpair that cockbird and pair them with another hen, but I'm just running out of time now. So we'll just let them go for another round, get that out of pretty much over and done with. And our little mealy hen. I also candled every single egg in every single nest bowl today, which is good. And good news is every single one of the eggs in all these nest bowls are fertile. Let me see your wiggle wiggle, okay? Going a bit crazy. So I'm happy that uh, all these babies, all well, the eggs are going to give us some little babies. So it's pretty cool. I just really love this little hen. She's, such, she's growing on me. She's such a good little hen in the hand. I did try and get that race ring off her the other day too, and it was just so hard on there. I need to, um, probably when the eggs hatch, I might try and get them all off. Might take 83s off as well, because he doesn't need his. You all right there? Been a bit of a show off, are you? I candled this egg too. I'm not, we've only got a single nester in here, and this egg is fertile, so I'm super happy about that. So. Let me, sh how about a wing slap? Bit of a sh I want to shake your hand, good job. Because I'm really pretty excited to get these babies out uh, and just see how this goes. Because to date, he's been producing some really nice babies. And you can see, he's quite a nice bird. I don't generally go too much into the background and all this kind of stuff and talk about how, you know, winds and all that kind of stuff. Um, just really just sharing the enjoyment of the birds. But both these birds do have performance backgrounds and. Um, brothers, sisters and stuff like that too. So that's why I'm kind of interested to see if, um, if They can produce us anything with some performance in it, but we are going to test So many birds this year so many different mixes. It's really exciting 83 what do you got to buddy? I'm gonna take that ring off you at some point But I tried to get it off before and it was just really really hard Not yours, but on the other hand, so I'm gonna have to get a little um screwdriver or something just so I can pry it open a little bit because they're really stiff those ones which is which is good if you're paying you know two two and a half two two and a half dollars basically for that kind of ring you definitely don't want it to fall off during race time all right where are my birds they're all out flying here they come they're a bit scattery at the moment because we've got some younger ones in there still you can see um you know we'll get a few drop in soon but the majority of them getting it together we've got 30 outside so far in this bigger group which is good to see um, we do have birds going everywhere but like I said main group's doing all right and you know day by day the other ones are sort of catching up and getting in there but this is our main team so we've got about 30 30 in the first lot um, then we've got another 10 15 coming on and then we've got we'll have a big lot of 20 or 30 coming in a bit later so I'd really like to get to the race season this year with at least 50 that's kind of my goal i think last year we started with like 28 or 30 which wasn't a lot but we've done a lot and done pretty well with just a small number of birds so hopefully we can improve I might get some food sorted because i think um it probably won't be out too long today because it is a bit later in the day here comes one mm. Like I said, we've just got a few younger ones that just not super, super hot on the wing yet. They're getting there. Look at him drop in. That's unreal. I love it when they drop in like that, even though he missed the landing board. 
a bit of a breeze up there too, so they've got a bit of work on them today, which is good. I don't know where you guys are going. There's no food in there yet. We're waiting for everyone to come in. Oh. That little blue bar that just went in that's sitting in there, it's a really nice one. We'll have a look at that at some point. Oh, there's another one. Hello. What are you doing? Come here. Come on. So the main group's working well. We got a few of the other ones, they already went in. But that main group, they're working quite well. It's got a few of the black ones up there. We got um, some of the first spreads, some older ones up there. We got Speedy Blue Grizzle up there too, and her nest mate. Um, they're ripping it pretty well too, so it's good to see. We're just hopefully over the next few weeks, the rest of them will be up doing as well as that. We've still got the odd one like that one just zooming around. That throws them off a bit. Here comes one over here. Got the odd little individual cruiser. Right, the last two, which is Speedy Grizzle and looks like Speedy Grizzle's messmate. Let's call them in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mum! Oh, there is Speedy Blue. Look at him go. A couple still on the roof. There's a couple of young cocks up there being pains. Oh, there's still two more of my birds out there. Some just scattered them a bit. Alright, there's just a couple still playing. That's alright. I'll give them a separate feed a little bit later. Just because we've got these different age groups at the moment, which can be a little bit testing. And because it's windy and we've got these black ones that zoom in and out, they scare them a bit because they think the falcons. So the two ones that we brought in today are these two here. So these are the two ones from that um, red checker blue bar pine. And they're looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy how they turn now and um, looks like they've been eating a bit too. I don't know what these birds are doing up here. This little white-faced tiger is a little bit of a pain too. Some of these black ones actually they're both black ones there. Maybe they need to miss out on dinner they're a little bit cheeky too. Come on! Yes you come on you're gonna miss out. Maybe they heard him. <laughs> there it is now, little white face. And the black ones, here they come. Mum! Come Jeez, there's actually quite a few birds out there still. I'm not used to having all these birds again. Like, we had a big flock last year, but the race season really hurt us. Wow, look at that. Got a few birds in there. That's good. So, we've got the lone Cassart cock in here. He's a beautiful little fella. Um, I'm hopefully freeing up this area for these new birds that'll come through. What I've done, we've got the barless hen over there with the unrun cock, and we put shock in here. He's not very happy about it, um, but I'm gonna come through here, feed them soon. Again, hopefully it will settle them down a little bit. Um, yeah, we're getting in there. Slowly, slowly. 
and Rosetta finally laid her egg last night, which is good to see. So we've got an egg there. She's going to lay that second one tomorrow. And um, these little guys won't be too far off weaning out too. They're nearly feathered up under there. And they're looking quite nice. And what's going on up here? Have you got us an egg yet? She can't be too far away from laying us an egg, the old girl. She's not old, but it's a figure of speech. And Speedy Blues parents, can you give us another one of those little Speedy Blues? Because I'm pretty pretty happy with how those ones are turned out. But, we'll let you guys go. I'll see you all in the next video because we got eggs everywhere. Turned into an egg farm. I'll have to get a few cartons, I reckon.